Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Cloud Book channel. Today is the day six of the DevOps master class and I hope you are learning something new from the videos and today we are going to discuss about the Git and GitHub. So today class is completely about explaining what is Git and GitHub and what are the stages and key terminology that we are used in the Git and GitHub. If you have any doubts in the old projects or you need any assistance from me or like you need any suggestions you can make me a call in the top mate. I recently created a top mate account also and completed one booking yesterday of explaining my project about the issue that is good and you can also make the bookings here uh, to discuss with me to talk with me and I am going to explain everything in the clear way if and if possible I will invite some industry level uh, experienced candidate also so you can learn more from them if possible and today we are going to discuss about the git and github let's go first we will understand why git and what is the use of the git and why we need to use the git and github and what are the benefits of the git and we will understand the complete git and github and features of the git and finally we can use the git in two ways one is ui i mean user interface and other one is cli i mean command line interface and mostly we will use the command line interface in industry level so we will start with cli and ui as well so we will use the both cli and ui i will explain in the both ways you can understand more easily so stop dreaming and start doing if you are trying to do with a new content then only you will be reached to more more people so if you are following the old content that are doing someone else in the youtube you are following same things and uploading in the LinkedIn doesn't make you uh, reach, give the more reach or uh, attract the new people. So you have to make your own content. So you have to stop dreaming and start doing. By technically, you have to do everything. You have to test and uh, write your notes for yourself and make it happen to reach more people and engage with your new content. Then so many will come to you and ask doubts and some people maybe any company will reach to you that's the way you have to stop dream and you have to start doing then everyone will come to you at the correct time so uh, we have to discuss about the why git and features of the git and key terminology so we can use git on windows and linux as well and we will use the git bash or git cli in the course so we will master the all git commands and we will compare the commands with the other commands as well and git is very essential part of the devops engineering and in the devsecops engineering okay so devsecops is a not a new role but it is the part of the devops engineer so we have to add the security to our tools that is called devsecops process and we will use the gitlab as well for the learning purpose not only github i will explain the gitlab as well and we will see how we can integrate the git and github and importance of the github and meanwhile with the gitlab ci as well we use the github and gitlab both are same pretty and you do use the same commands to push the code to pull the code to do the changes we will use the same commands that are using for the github or the git we are use the same commands for the gitlab ci as well and first we will talk about the what is git and github so i am explaining the git and github uh, like uh, for the child so imagine you are working on a big drawing with your friends git is like a magic book where you keep track of all the changes you make to your drawing so each time you add something new or a fix a mistake you write it down in the book so now github is like a special library where you can keep your magic book with your friends books too so you can share your drawings with them and they can see what you added or changed they can even make their own changes and add them to the books too so git helps you keep the track of changes and github helps you to share those changes with others so this is the simple way of explaining the git and github so let's talk in the industry way first so imagine you are working on a group project like a building a, a logo masterpiece with your classmates git is like a tool that helps you to keep track of all changes you make to the creation lego each time you add a new piece or make a modification git will records it so now the github is a like a platform where you can store your project along with instructions for others to see 
and contribute to so it's like a virtual workshop where everyone can collaborate on the same project simultaneously you can share your project with your teammates and they can see what changes you have made even suggest their own improvements git and github are tools used by the developers to manage and collaborate on projects ensuring smooth teamwork and efficient development process so git is a version control system that helps developers track changes to their code it allows you to keep a history of all the modification made to your files so you can easily revert to previous versions if needed it also enables collaboration among team members by allowing them to work on different parts of the code simultaneously and merge their changes together seamlessly so github on the other hand is a platform built around git it provides a centralized location for hosting a git repositories making it easy for developers to store and share and collaborate on their projects so github offers additional features such as like issue tracking project management tools and code review capabilities making it powerful tool for our software development teams so this is what we call the git and github so git is like in a version control system so which keep tracks your changes of their code so git terminology so we will discuss about the git terminology now we mostly use the git and git repo or git repository so first we need to understand what is a git repository so we need to understand what is git repository so git repository which contains the files and history and config managed by the git so this is a directory which will be present on your local box so git repository is a directory which will be present on your local box and it will contain all the files all the history and all the configuration which is managed by the git and in the respect of the project for which you are using the git okay suppose you are working on a project and name it the project as a one and we are using the git to manage the version of this project so now git will create a directory called dot git in their project one so we will create a dot git in the project so by providing git in it it will create a dot git folder so it will manage the version of the project so dot git is called the git repository so here remember that dot git is called the git repository now what are the operations you are performing on the git these all operation will be recorded in this dot git repository directory this dot git directory will be present inside your project directory as this starts with dot okay remember it will starts with dot git if you provide ls hyphen la it will show the dot git folder as well so it will store your changes that you done to your projects everything will be recorded in that particular dot git repository so this is an a hidden directory uh, if you are using windows then you need to open a or select the option to show the hidden file hidden sorry or uh, to show the hidden directory and the files okay if you are using the linux or ubuntu we can go to the project directory and we can execute the command called ls a or ls la to show the hidden files okay so ls a will show the files that are with simple names but if you provide ls la it will show in the long format okay then we can see our dot git directory when you provide ls la you will see the dot git directory but this dot git directory will start showing are present in your project once you will configure git in your project okay so without configure you can see your git dot git folder so all the files and the history or the configuration which is managed by the git that will present inside that particular git repo okay so remember that everything will be uh, stored inside the dot git if you remove that folder and you can't uh, make the old changes are they you can't see our old changes okay suppose you are working on a project called mr cloudbook uh, a simple example okay so which present inside a directory project and now what you will do you configure the project as a git so we have to uh, configure it with the git init command it means you are starting using the git to manage the version controlling of the mr cloudbook project now if you initialize the git in this project i mean you have to provide the git init right so git will create a hidden directory called dot git in your project so now this created 
dot git directory so that is called git repository and it will contain all the information regarding the version changes and file modification uh, that is the use of the dot git so it will track the files it will point out the files modification so everything which is related to that project is called a git repository so this is a very important directory remember not to delete so you don't have to delete the dot git repository so if you delete it you will lose everything okay so in the old history and everything in case it happened or you deleted by mistakenly that then the every data will be loss of your complete tracking so because it is a key directory so don't miss or don't delete it okay let's understand the stages of the git work in the three stages the first stage is working area or working directory our second stage is called a staging area and final one is the git repository so these are the three stages that we use the git mostly so let's understand these terms one by one so we have to start with working area or working directory this is the first stage so as the devops engineer or the devsecops engineer we have worked on a project or any project or maybe you have seen the code structure of any project so what is the common code structure of the project is we have the parent directory which may be called with the name of the project and we have the sub directory which are for the modules and sub modules and source code and the code files in this okay so we contain so many folders in our project tree so parent directory which can contain the complete code of your project that is called working directory so where we have our own live files okay so it means all the files and the which you are working on the project so are writing the code and you are doing the changes everything will be contained in that particular directory so the parent directory of your project called the working directory so it is also known as a untracked area in the git okay working area is also called as a untracking area in the git because that area is not tracked with the git until or unless you are making the changes after your modification okay we will understand there i mean we will understand these things in detail in the future while explaining in the cli way because working area will be most easy way because we will do changes and we will update the files and we will do the changes and file modification everything in the working area only in the parent directory so we if we add i mean if we give the git add command then only those files will be tracked Uh, if we don't give the git add command then those files will be untracked okay so that is called the working area okay or you can call the untracked area so now we have the stage 2 which is staging area so staging area means when git starts tracking of your all your changes if you are given the command as a git add it will start tracking of your changes okay and saving these changes in the files and that area is called the staging area it will store your files i mean that your modification files will be in stored inside the dot git folder so that is area called the staging area so whenever you do changes in your working directory and you will perform some git operation these files are the status of your working directory is saved in the git repository and that is being called the staging area because now all the changes you are making in your directory or in your parent directory or in your files is basically tracked by the git after you are providing the git add command in the staging area okay so staging area means if you are added your files to staging area means that will be tracked by the git remember that and finally we have the git repository so this is the same file i mean which we have discussed in the Uh, staging area which is dot git repo this is also called the local repo okay so this directory will contain all the changes all the records all the history which is being done as a part of the git in your project so we have the three area working which means untracked and staging directory and which means tracked so git directory which will contain all the records of the tracking okay i will show you each and everything in the real way while explaining with the help of the cli because if i say git repository tracked untracked and staging you will get some kind of messy but uh, i will explain in the detailed way in the future 
so once you add the git add command it will comes to staging area once you do the git commit and push then it will be moved to git repository so i will add explain everything uh, in the future of using cli okay don't worry about it and we have the another term which you will hear very frequently remote repository that is called the github so we talked about the git and dot git and this staging areas of the git but we have now the github so remote repository means once you will restore your code on the same host or some host service like github are in the terminal servers or in the instances whenever you are writing the code you are making the code on your local machine you will do the changes everything in your local machine so what happens if your local machine will destroy i mean if your local machine or if the instance that you are trying or making the changes or if your lo local system will be damaged or destroyed so then the complete work which you have done from the last few days or from the last few months that is being destroyed right so uh, we have to make it like the backup so so the, the solution of the to keep the work secure is the remote repository so you develop your code on your local machine and you use the git and you push the code to remote repository so we have to push the code to our github okay so a remote repository means that is a remote location where your and your teammates are pushing the code in the common project another term which you will hear very frequently is the branch so we have the uh, key terms that we have now dot git git staging area tracked and tracked working area git repository and we have the remote repositories and now we have the another term that is called branch so branch in a git is a way to keep the developing and coding a new feature or the modification to the software still not affecting the main part of the project so if you do any changes in the git you have to do the changes in the branches okay you have to create a own a separate branch and make the changes over there and push to branch i mean changes to that particular branch so it won't affect any main branch okay so once we will learn about the branching i will explain this term in very very detailed way but right now you have to understand what is branch okay if you do any changes uh, you have to do it in the branch branch only okay so you can understand that git will work as a tree and the branch in the git is a simple to the branch in the tree which we will have the own future so we can call it as a future or a fix or we can call it as a new thing anything uh, that is called the branches we use the branches which not affects the main branch so we can test those branches locally as well so without affecting the main branch so which will have their own future which have their own leaves okay and own fruits but that is the part of the main tree okay so it won't affect your main tree okay and in any case if the branch will fall the existence of the tree will also still intact okay it won't affect the main branch if you delete the uh, a branch that is not working so it won't affect the main branch as well the fall of any branch will not impact on the main tree okay so it will not affect the main tree or in the main not main root okay tree which we can call as a git and branch is called the branch of tree and any time we can create or cut off the branch okay these are the most important terms in the git okay so thanks for watching the video uh, because i started explaining what is git and github and some key features and the, some key technologies key terminologies that we use because these are mostly important terms that we use branching and uh, uh, dot git and working area staging area tracked area untracked area and dot git repository and everyone knows git uh, is a version control system which tracks all your changes or the modifications in the files and uh, github is uh, like the remote repository where we can store our uh, codes that uh, we changed okay so it is like a backup so it will store your code and if the local system is fails so we can again pull the code from the remote repository so and we will meet in the next video thanks for watching the video and keep on supporting to mr cloudbook channel